Greetings. I just want to uh, let uh, you guys know that I've uh, received my uh, two Raspberry Pi B pluses the other day and I'm really quite thrilled with them. I got one uh, uh, in use and I'm saving this one for uh, a robotics project that uh, that I was inspired uh, with uh, from uh, uh, Samuel Matos as YouTube handle is uh, 74 Sammy and uh, so I've uh, gone out and uh, ordered a, uh, it's a Kickstarter uh, robot, uh, just a basic one. Um, runs off an Arduino. The Pi is kind of a misnomer. It doesn't actually have a Pi or op uh, operate uh, using a Pi. But uh, you can interface a Pi uh, to this Arduino uh, compatible board that they've got. And uh, that's still uh, still waiting on delivery for that, but uh, what I've got uh, so far is uh, uh, started writing, uh, put OpenCV on my laptop, uh, eventually it will run on the Raspberry Pi, and running a Python uh, script that uh, generates uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not. Uh, generates navigation information from uh, face detection, and uh, as you uh, as you move farther away, the the square gets smaller and larger. So what I've done is actually calculated the uh, the distance away, and uh, uh, it's actually quite accurate. I was quite surprised. Uh, plus the uh, the uh, navigation information that's based on the center of the uh, face detection square and uh, the center of the of the frame that's that it uh, OpenCV uh, gives you can ca uh, give you the frame size and uh, anything that's uh, to the right. Uh, gets a, a deviation and then so that's navigation information to get back and then uh, uh, the opposite uh, if it's the other way then uh, then it has to come back. Now I've also, uh, uh, similar to Sammy, I've ordered a, a tilt and a pan camera so uh, obviously the tilt when the, when the uh, camera's panned uh, to keep uh, your face or an object in the frame. Now it doesn't have to be a face. Uh, you can train uh, OpenCV to use uh, uh, to use uh, uh, anything, any objects that you can train it to uh, to use. So uh, if you watch Sammy's video you'll see uh, he's got it um, looking at signs and uh, balls and various other things. So uh, this is uh, just a basic uh, uh, Python script. Um, I decided to use Python but uh, because uh, OpenCV d does uh, most of the heavy lifting so uh, Python is just using as a logic interface. I'm hoping that the frame rate is going to be uh, suitable but it's, a robot doesn't need uh, real-time scanning. Uh, so that's pretty well what I've done. What I was hoping to do was to, uh, uh, using the, the robot sonar, have it uh, navigate through the house, uh, detecting where the navigable areas are and which are not the navigable areas, and uh, basically fill out uh, a bitmap with uh, one boolean per one foot square of the house uh, in a, a large square so that uh, I guess if it was 50 by 50 you'd have 2500 uh, squares or uh, boolean values and uh, then it would discover the, uh, the geometry of the navigable areas and then you would use uh, waypoints that it could recognize, either little signs or markers, to uh, to 
figure out where exactly it is in the uh, in the house. I was hoping to do uh, some games like uh, hide and seek and uh, and uh, fetch that type of thing. Uh, probably just using a ball with a magnet in it and um, a magnet on the uh, robot to to uh, uh, attached to the, uh, you know, to ret return the ball or, or whatever. But anyway, that's, uh, that's currently what I've got. Uh, uh, it actually based, I've actually got uh, calculation down here. I don't know if you can see it. Well, that uh, based on my face, I, uh, I can calculate the distance away, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, based on the frame size and uh, and it's a pretty linear so it, it actually can determine the distance based on a, a normal face size which would probably be a fairly standard except for maybe a child's but uh, anyway uh, it seems to be working okay. It's going to obviously need a lot more work, but uh, I just thought, well, you know, it might be interesting to other people to uh, see what other people are working on. So uh, that's about it. I'll keep you up to date. A uh, um, lot of little bits and pieces and uh, stuff, but uh, uh, and robotics is new to me, so. Uh, It'll be quite a learning curve. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.